guys, it's Charlotte Nagai, Executive Director with Pampered Chef. I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks from PicMonkey.com, and it's what I use to make all of my pictures and outlines. And I have the paid version, so I pay like $36 a year, which gives me access to like extra cool fonts and stuff. Since a lot of you won't have the paid version, I'm just going to do it in the normal unpaid. So you can do a free trial. If you have a paid version, you log in. So I'm going to do it without a paid version. So it's going to have me, I clicked on edit, and then I'm going to find a picture. I have some templates in here. I have a lot of folders from the years. I save everything. So like my snowman picture I made with the snowball fight. So let's start with this. So then it opens up. So what you can do is this butterfly is where you can add on extra things. You can, they have all these um, great different graphics. You can add on an arrow. You can add on a little speech bubble if you want them to be talking to each other. You can add on sunglasses and hair and all sorts of things. I tend to mostly just use the geometric and my own. So like I always want to add a logo. So I always add like the happy spoon to the graphics. And I like to do this so that other direct sellers don't take my image and then just crop out Pampered Chef and make it their own. So I on all my pictures um, that I've made in the past few months, you'll see this. I put the happy spoon and then I change this to darken so it takes away the background. And then I just do fade until it's faded enough to still see the picture. But it's obviously a Pampered Chef spoon. So you can do the same thing with the logo that says independent consultant. Just click on this blend modes, change it to darken, and then you can just click the little box and resize it and stick it places. So like I say, I try to make it so other direct sellers don't take my stuff. So I override, I like to make it so that the edges cover some part of the picture or like cover the tie. So it's much harder for people to crop out and slap their own direct sales logo on it and call it their own. So like this little side, this little chef's hat on this guy because he has no hat. So again, we're going to go over here to blend modes and change it to darken. And you can flip it upside down, not that you'd want to, but, and sideways. Oh, that's right. This one, we don't want to darken. We still need the background. So we're going to do normal. Now, you can click eraser, and you can just erase the background. So I just go to a big eraser, and then I just get as close as I can. And erase this. So I won't do it all on here because that would make for a very long video, but I'll do enough. Um, the eraser one, when you're erasing a background from an image, I mean, it is tedious. And just enlarge the picture as much as you can so that you can get as close as you can. But um, for the sake of time, I won't do it all perfection. So then we just take it and I put it on his head. Oop. And now he has his own little hat, which like I say, I would, I would spend a little more time making it a little more perfect if it wasn't a long video. So now 
I like to add these geometric geometric. Now this one, this rectangle and this rectangle are great because you can size them however you want, like stretch it. Whoop. But the square ones and the regular circle and these ones, you can't so it just you can't stretch it. It's just square. That's it. So if you really want to square, that's what you go with. I almost never do, so I tend to go with these two a lot. So I'll just make a square. And then I just change the color. Like, let's say, if you click the color, and then you click this little um, dropper, you can pick a color from your picture. So Because I like the match pictures, our colors. Then I can just fade it a bit. Put it on up here, it's going to be my little header. So now I'll go put some text on. And since this is the free version, I don't have as much. These crowns are going to mean that they're only available for the paid version. So let's just pick one. And then we'll just type snowball fight. Snowball fight. And stick it up here. Make it a little bigger. And then if you stretch the text box to the edges, and then this, if you're familiar with word and things, if you click left, it's left aligned. Right is right aligned, and middle is just centered. So that's generally I center things in the box. So can we just say, Hey, here it. After you've booked a show, toss a snowball at another team member by tagging them. I can't remember what I said in my original post that I made this. So you see how it's kind of hard to read when it overlaps those things? That's where it's great to do this um, geometric square, so this butterfly and then this, and do a little white background. So you fade it, and then if you right click on it and send it to the back, It'll go behind the text. So the back means it's all the way back there. Everything else is in front of it. And so it helps it show up a bit better and be a little more readable. I'm going to just copy and paste this logo over here. So both snowmen have logos. And then let's just add a spoon to his tie. So let's do darken. And then drag him so it's little. And then click this little circle so we can tilt it. And I'll fade it a little. And so then you've made a picture. So it's not too hard to learn. You just the more you play with it, the sort of the more features uh, you figure out, and then you have a nice picture. So hopefully that helps somebody. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day.